day, my friends. School is back in session, and you are just about to finish a huge unit on Alzheimer's disease. This is video number 280. You know, I debated about whether or not to make this particular video the last one in the Alzheimer's unit or save it for the next unit because it's about overlapping management options for your heart, your bone, and your brain. And the next unit is on the three big diseases associated with estrogen deficiency, heart attack, osteoporosis, and Alzheimer's. And in that unit, I'll be dissecting, comparing, and contrasting the three diseases every which way. But since I ended the osteoporosis unit with a video on overlapping management options for just your heart and your bones, I thought it made more sense and offered more consistency to end the Alzheimer's unit with a similar type of video adding Alzheimer's to the mix. So this video serves a dual purpose. It brings the Alzheimer's unit to an end and it functions as a great segue into the next unit. So today I will show you how to quickly determine your management options if you have overlapping risks for more than one of the diseases we've discussed thus far, heart attack, osteoporosis, or Alzheimer's disease. And I've delivered three huge units on these three devastating diseases. Now, in my book, both the first edition and the second edition, I give you a separate chapter on each disease along with a worksheet so that as you learn all the risk factors, you can determine the diseases for which you are at greatest risk. But what if you don't have time to read all three chapters or watch all the videos in each unit. What if what you really need right now is just to get started on doing things to lower your risks for all or some of these diseases? Well, this nifty slide chart will be just the thing for you. This enables you to designate the diseases for which you are at risk and then instantly see all the management options that will serve to decrease your risks for those diseases. So I'll demonstrate how this can reveal your management options for the three diseases we've discussed thus far. If you look at the front side of this chart, it looks like this. And you turn it longitudinally so that you see the numbers one through six in black circles across the top. These six numbers represent the six diseases that are addressed on this slide chart. And they are heart attack, which is number one, osteoporosis, which is number two, breast cancer, which is number three, uterine cancer, which is number four, ovarian cancer, which is number five, and Alzheimer's disease, which is number six. So far, I've only presented heart attack, osteoporosis, and Alzheimer's. So what you do is you take it and you turn it vertically, and you look at the question associated with number one in the round circle, and it says, are you at risk for a heart attack? And do you see how there are only two options for answers? There's no and there's yes. And we're going to arbitrarily answer yes. And by answering yes, it brings you to the next question. And the next question is, are you at risk for osteoporosis? Again, only two answers, yes or no. And so we are going to answer that one from this place where we answered yes. We're going to answer that yes too. Since we're addressing overlapping management options for heart attack, osteoporosis, and Alzheimer's, we want yeses for both of those. So we take our finger, we follow down to the yes. And that brings you to the next disease, which is, are you at risk for breast cancer? Well, we're going to answer that with a no because we haven't covered it yet. So that takes us here. And then we have uterine cancer. Are you at risk for uterine cancer? We're going to answer no for that too because we haven't covered it. And then we have, are you at risk for ovarian cancer? And we're going to answer that no also because we haven't covered it. So what we've done so far is isolate management options just for a high risk of heart attack and osteoporosis. And now we get to the last question. The last question is number six here, and it is, are you at risk for Alzheimer's? And we're gonna answer that, yes, because we want to isolate our options for saying yes to the three diseases that we wanna find overlapping options for. 
Now, notice that there is a number next to the last answer, yes or no, and this number is 15. So this is where the slide chart feature comes in. What you do is, you see this black arrow here? That black arrow moves. It moves depending on how far you pull this thing out or slide it in. It's a slide chart. So depending on where you slide it, the black line moves. Okay, so we want to take that black arrow and we want to line it up with number 15. So now you see number 15 with an arrow next to it. And that means that everything else will be lined up for your risks of heart attack, osteoporosis, and Alzheimer's. Now, this is where you flip the chart over to the other side. And when you flip it over, you see five black circles. The five black circles designate the different categories for your options for reducing your risks. So there's diet and lifestyle, vitamins and minerals, botanicals and herbs, hormonal medications, and non-hormonal medications. And each category consists of two columns of options. And what you'll see is a black dot next to all the options that will serve to help you reduce your risk for the three diseases that you said yes to heart attack, osteoporosis, and Alzheimer's disease. All told, there are 75 different management options to help you lower your risk for the combination of all three. And you get to pick and choose the ones that will work best for you. See, it's nifty in a jiffy. Now this means that some of the options will serve to lower your risk for heart attack only. Some will serve to lower your risk for osteoporosis only. Others will serve to lower your risk for Alzheimer's only. And some will suffice for two of them or all three of them. And there are even some that were erased if they were beneficial for one disease, but detrimental for another. But this enables you to quickly and easily see all of your options and decide which ones are best for you. Of course, you can do the same thing changing your yes and no answers and you'll end up with different management options altogether. The slide chart narrows it all down for you. What's so great about this gadget is that as your situation changes over time and your yes and no answers change, you can quickly and easily see your best options. Now, you can buy this slide chart from my website, which is menopausetailor.me, and understand that the slide chart does not give you the details or limitations of any option. They are not equivalent in what they can all accomplish. I've taught you that in great detail. So you should not use the slide chart instead of getting this entire education. You should use it alongside the education. In addition to these YouTube videos, I have tried to create every resource so that no matter what your timeline, your budget, or your learning style, you can still get this education. At menopausetailor.me, you can buy this Your Management, Your Way DVD that consists of two discs, and it covers the entire education in, this, in just these two DVDs. It's the entire 12-hour seminar. So if you prefer to learn all of this more quickly than you can by watching a video each week, maybe this DVD option is for you. And alternatively, if you think DVDs are outdated, you can get the very same thing in a series of 15 webinars. All you have to do is go to menopausetailor.me to order them. And of course, it's critical to watch them in order. And you already know that the entire education is available in my book. And the very last chapter of my book is called For the Guys. It's just 11 pages that present what a guy needs to know about menopause. You need about 500 pages, but your guy doesn't. <laughs> and if your guy doesn't like to read, get him this. It's the same education on DVD with a bit of fun sprinkled in. It's just one DVD and it's all for the guys. And if he doesn't have a DVD player, you can get him the same thing and a webinar. My goal 
is to just meet everybody's needs. And all these different educational options can help whoever needs the help. I know you've seen most of this before, but I think it's important to re-emphasize the tools that are available to make your menopause management easier. And you can get them at my website anytime you need them. So we are done with the Alzheimer's unit. Next week, we'll start a unit that combines a lot of the things you've learned in the units on these three big diseases. I will point out some common themes, some different perspectives, and some risk comparisons. It will be kind of the kind of stuff I like the most. <laughs> Information is okay in isolation, but when you learn about more than one disease and you start comparing and contrasting them with each other, things get really interesting. And I think you will really enjoy all the different perspectives I present. Between now and then, please subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And go to menopausetaylor.me to buy a slide chart, print out the worksheet, purchase DVDs or webinars, or schedule a consultation. <laughs> Bye! Bye.